Welcome to a Soma live art presentation and guided meditation journey. Soma live art is a channeled vibration. It's a portal into a higher dimension of being. As you are gazing into this live art right now, allow your intuition to reveal to you a portal. A portal is an entrance into a higher realm of consciousness. Each Soma Live Art has a portal waiting for you to enter through. So slowly take three deep breaths in, relax your body, and the portal will reveal itself to you. And don't second guess yourself, just jump right in. You have arrived. To receive a healing today, keep your focus on the portal. Take one more deep breath in, hold for three seconds and release. This will expand your consciousness and prepare you for today's journey. Now gently close your eyes. So let's journey to a place beyond your everyday world, to a world where you can know yourself as an immortal being. The Soma Live art you are gazing at is called Island of Apples. So your eyes are closed. Take your attention to your third eye vision. So in your mind's eye, I would like for you to imagine you are standing in an apple tree orchard It is a warm, sunny day, and the apples are ripe for the picking and glistening in the sun. There are different kinds of apple trees in this orchard. And you know this because their trees are laden with different colored of apples. Some apples are purple, yellow, and blue. And there is an amazing aroma in the air too, like fresh apples calling your name. Then your attention goes to the sound of water splashing quite loudly. And as you look down the long apple orchard row of trees, you can see at the end, ocean waves splashing up on the beach. Oh, you are on the island of apples, that mystical place you read about in one of your treasured books. And you never dreamed that this place really existed. But here you are. And it is such a lovely warm day. And then all of a sudden you get a burst of excitement in the pit of your stomach. 
you remember from the book that the island of apples is where the immortals live. And as you start to walk amongst the trees, admiring the fruit and the smells, you start to feel a little hungry. Well, hungry for an apple, of course. And the purple apples look so regal and grand. You would love to taste one of those. Looking down at the base of the tree, you see a sign that reads, Royal purple apples are not for the faint of heart. They will open your third eye and tend to be a little tart. Well, this is a good one to start with. So you reach up and pluck a purple apple from the tree and it releases easily into your palm. And your mouth is watering and you take a bite. Fireworks of purple shoot out of your forehead. The light show is mesmerizing. And it's the strangest feeling. You are seeing the show in your third eye vision but you also can simultaneously see yourself watching the show. It's like you have double vision abilities. And then the fireworks finish with a bang. And that's when you notice the tartness of the apple. But it's very pleasant to your taste and very satisfying. And looking down to the base of the tree where the sign is, you now notice a wooden door with a purple apple handle. And you don't know why you didn't see it before, but then I guess it was camouflaged with the grass on top. And the only reason you're seeing it now is because it is opening, opening very slowly. Greetings, welcome to Apple Island, says this lovely elderly man, and he steps up out of the ground. I trust you enjoyed the royal purple apple, he says. Yes, it was really, really good, and the fireworks were spectacular, you reply. Our royal purple apples make delicious apple pie too, he says with a smile. Come, I will give you a tour of our apple orchard. Excuse me, sir, you say, but may I ask, where did you just come from? I've never seen anyone come out of the ground like that before. Oh, says the elderly man. I was working on the root system and communication routes. It's part of my job. I have one more question, please, you say. Are you immortal? Are you, are you an immortal being? Oh, yes, of course. All beings here are immortal. That's why we grow the best apples, and he laughs, and he raises his hands up in the air. Apples are the tree of life, he says. There is no, nowhere better to be than right here. And with that, he sticks out his hand to greet you. Hello, he says, my name is Trunk, and I'm very happy you decided to join us here today you're in for a treat. Follow me. And Trunk leads you down a row of bright yellow apples with little golden dots. 
and you notice lots of yellow butterflies dancing around these apples. And the sun is shining on the yellow apples, making them all look like balls of sun with golden stars. And then looking down at the bottom of one of the trees, you see that it has a sign that reads, this apple is called Yellow Delight, an uplifting change, sweet and mellow, but a little strange. Trunk watches you reading the sign and he smiles at you. Go ahead, have a bite of the Yellow Delight, he says. So you reach up and easily grab one off the tree. It is really bright yellow, and the little golden dots are glistening in the sun. So you take a bite. A burst of yellow shoots out from your stomach, and it tickles and makes you giggle as it bursts forth this bright light. And you feel a huge amount of relief. It's like all your pent up negative emotions just got loosened up. And looking down at your stomach, you can't believe how much yellow light and golden flares are coming out. Wow, do I really have that much negative emotions inside me? You say to Trunk. Must be, he says but it's good to get them out. I remember when I first came here and ate the yellow delight. The release was tickling my tummy. Yes, you say, that is what I'm feeling right now too. And Trunk smiles at you. As both of you are watching the light show coming from and in your tummy as it slows down and comes to an end. And now you place both your hands over your stomach and there's this warm, calming sensation there. You feel really good and very content in this moment. Come on, I have another apple to show you, says Trunk. And he ducks under the tree and brings you over to another path of apple trees in the orchard. All these apples are blue, like a periwinkle blue, ones that you've certainly never seen like this before. And then you see Trunk waving up at one of the trees. So you look up and you notice that there's a woman up in the tree and she seems to be shining the apples. She has a bright pink dress on with a white petticoat underneath and a big apron of pattern apples. That's Sprite, Trunk says. She's a delight and we all love her. And the way she shines the apples, well, no one can do it quite like her. It's her joy, and she spreads that joy on all the apples that she touches. You should always do what brings you joy so everyone can benefit from your joy. That's what it is meant to be immortal, to spread the joy, Trunk says to you. and Sprite waves down at you and picks a beautiful blue apple and throws it for you to catch. And it lands perfectly in your palm and you smile up and thank her. Read the sign, she says, and points to the bottom of the tree. This apple is called Blue Splash 
the apple of breath. Take a bite and you will never know death. Wow, Trunk, that is quite a powerful apple, don't you think? Yes, says Trunk. We have all eaten from that apple and that's why we're here now, to celebrate being immortal. Love, joy, peace, and happiness is our true essence. You can be too, he says, if you decide to take a bite. And looking up at the top of the tree, you see Sprite smiling down at you as she shines another blue apple. And you don't feel pressured in any way but you do make the decision to take a bite. Holy blue. Blue rain starts pouring from the sky. Blue rain is coming down in buckets and totally drenching you. And Trunk is watching you. He's only about three feet from you but not a drop of blue rain seems to be on him. And then looking up, Sprite is smiling away, but not a drop on her either. As a matter of fact, the sun is shining off her periwinkle blue apple. But you, you are soaked in blue through and through. The rain is just coming down and you are so wet. And then Trunk catches your attention and says to you, take a deep breath in and hold it as long as you can before you release it. Go ahead, you can do it. Breathe in the blue, I just gave you the clue. So you close your eyes and take a deep breath in. All you can see is blue through and through, swirling around you like a tornado of blue light, removing anything less than divine energy in its path. And then you let out your breath with a gasp, breathing in new air, like a new breath just entered into you. A new fresh breath entered into your lungs. and you feel a tap on your shoulder. It's Trunk who says, the rain has stopped. And so you look at your hands and your legs and the blue is gone, it's all gone. And, and you're not even wet now. Where did it all go, you ask Trunk? You breathed it all in, of course, he says. Blue is the color of immortality, and you breathed it all in. It replaced your old breath. You're one of us now. That means you are welcome guests here anytime at Apple Island. Love, joy, peace, and happiness is all inside you now. The blue apple made it permanent. As you follow Trunk back through the orchard, you are feeling so full of love and gratitude. You feel speechless and so content. You will never take an apple for granted again. Well, I have to get back to work, Trunk says, as he leads you back to the purple apple trees once again. opens the hidden wooden grass door with the apple handle and then he steps down to leave but he turns around to hand you a wee little green apple the size of a green grape here this one is for you to eat when you get home just before you go to bed tonight it's my gift to you says trunk What is this apple called, you ask him? 
It's called the Mighty Green. To solidify your heart's desire for Apple Island, when you connect with your immortal self, those qualities will always be with you. Love, joy, peace, and happiness. Because the mighty green will never leave you. Eat it and see. It makes it permanent, you know. And then he shuts the door and merges with the tree. slowly coming back into your body, wiggling your fingers and your toes, and slowly opening your eyes. And as you are gazing once again upon this Soma Live Art presentation, give a prayer of gratitude to the portal that led you into Apple Island. So until the next time, take a deep breath in, smile. Your journey today is now complete. Don't forget to eat your little green apple before you go to sleep. May the love in my heart go from me to you.